Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. 2023, two APC governors meet as one predicts party's defeat. Hello, my wonderful people. APC, I mean, you we all know that in 2023, for politicians, is a very uh, decisive year. And so they've left governance, you know, uh, making life better the rule of law they've left uh, in, they've left security and other matters that concerns and are really particular to the people to so strategizing spending money hoarding money you know the one billion naira if you don't know one billion naira was shared to the 36 states of the federation one billion each apart from kogi state governor yahaya who said this whole covid 19 thing is a scam they should not give him he does not want so he refused the one billion apart from him every other state got one billion to help them combat the covid 19 and if you don't know you know uh, there is there is a talks alleged information that there is going to be second lockdown so please just just for your ear just get ready mm -hmm. just get ready get prepared and just know that you know let those around you be aware as well 2023 two apc governors meet as one predicts party defects gombe state governor halaji mohammed Imeon Yahaya on Saturday hosted his Jigawa counterpart Badegun at Gombe Government House. The two governors who met few hours after Badero revealed that the All Progressive Congress APC may lose 2023 election. Jigawa governor had on Friday said the ruling APC is likely to lose due to unresolved crisis in the party currently now as we speak and especially the insecurity in the country that is not being addressed by the federal government. Governor Emiwa Yahaya had briefed discussions with Badego, who is also an APC governor on party and national issue. They later moved to the Central Mosque, Emir's Palace, and other areas in Gombe to attend wedding. Recall that APC fired Comrade Adam Sushumole led National Working Committee in June 2020, following escalation of internal party crisis. The party later appointed Yube State Governor and immediate past National Secretary of the party, Malambuni, as Chairman APC National Critical Special Convention Planning Committee. Buni has appointed an APC National Executive Committee meeting at Asuro Council Chamber. His initial tenure has been extended by another six months. Now, Boni Ketiko Committee will prior over the party affairs until June 2021. This has not gone down well with some members of the party who are still of the opinion that the and that the crisis ravaging the party has still not been resolved. And as such, with regards to the insecurity currently now ravaging the country, are very skeptical if APC still has anything, anything with regards to 2023, saying it is clear and glary. All things being equal, if the polls are fair, APC may lose. It's not may lose, APC will lose. It's not may lose. It will lose because you guys don't know what you have done. If for nothing, eh, let's not even speak about any other issue. The insecurity in the country, is it not enough? Are you guys not ashamed? Are you guys not ashamed? If for nothing, eh, if for no other matter, it's every other thing you guys did well. The insecurity currently in the country, are you guys not really ashamed? How come you guys still go about and behave as if nothing is happening? How come you guys are able to sleep comfortably? You close your eyes and you're able to sleep after the evil you have caused in Nigeria. And you guys are saying, eh, it's likely we may not. No, it's not may not. You will not. You will not. In 2015, the Americans backed up eh, eh, Buhari saying that it will end corruption in Nigeria. Precisely, Obama. Where are you now, Obama? Where are you? you this is your Buhari, your, your Buhari the Messiah. 
what has he done so nigerians that's why we are saying anyone who will go and stand behind apc or pdp as at this time in fact you are an enemy you are an enemy of nigeria in fact you are you 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 know that in in in, uh, in law there is no it's not only the person that commits the crime that is guilty of there are what we call accessory to the crime so you would know about an information that could possibly save life or shed light on the matter and you hide it and later it is proven beyond all reasonable doubt that really and truly you have that information it was true you know about it you, in fact you are you 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 aided it and you keep quiet and allow the evil to happen you are also guilty of the same offense of the same crime you are very well guilty so today and today really and truly if any nigerian especially youth tell your parents tell your grandparents tell your aunties tell your uncles these are the ones eligible to vote tell them no apc no pdp we want we want transformation national transformation and please guys begin to pray don't go and use yourself for scapegoat for any politician those of you that allow yourself to be used by them <laughs> hey are you seeing what is happening you saw Erufai's son got married dignified to a lawyer well you know you saw the entourage you saw everything that's just a tip of the iceberg oh. you saw buhari's daughter 22 already married settled the mother had to travel to uae back and forth pretending that she was having stiff neck not when she has relocated because she was not sure of her safety and security in nigeria upon all the battalions of soldiers that they have 22 buhari's daughter already married see the dignitaries that are there instead of you to think about your life and see how you can start up a business invest and see what you can do you want to be a political talk be one hmm. be one hmm. If you, if you die in the process, they don't even know that you worked for them. They can't even remember your name. They say, oh, fortunately, you are that insignificant. So please, let's realize who we are. Let's take our position and let's not allow any of us or anybody. Don't allow your brothers and sisters to be used. These politicians, most of them are selfish. They won't even say thank you. And when the ships are down, they will move and they will, in fact, you will be the first they will give up to say they are criminals. That's the name they will use for you. And you'll be so shocked to your bone. You'll be really shocked. So Nigerians, youth, they are saying they may not win. Uh, and they are bringing up Adam Sushomole and uh, uh, Boni that, in fact, the party has not remained the same. It will not remain the same until you guys decide to bring change into this country. Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Compliment of the season. God bless you. Bye for now.